I have a confession to make. As I was playing with this very pretty Garuda Linux I wanted to install, I needed to install a screen recorder. So I went to install simple screen recorder using terminal commands, sudo apt install simple screen recorder. After a couple times of error messages, <laughs> it dawned on me that, hey, this is not based off Ubuntu. It's an Arch-based system that uses completely different terminal commands uh, to install Simple Screen Recorder. Now, you don't have to use terminal commands. You can go through the software center. But the funny part is, or, or the weird part is, I already knew that. And for some reason, well, was the, I, I think it's because I've been testing so many Ubuntu-based systems this year that that work, uh, that was stuck in my head. Anyway, we're looking at Garuda Linux, which I think is the most colorful, prettiest Linux I've seen in a long, long time. There are different versions of this. This is the Plasma Kitty Plasma Desktop Desktop Environment. There are other versions, including my favorite Mate from their web uh, from their website. I'll have a link for this uh, below in the show notes if you wanted to check this out. So this is basically just a modified version of the Plasma Desktop uh, running off Arch Linux. Now, what I've noticed over the years that we've seen so many distributions based off either Ubuntu or Arch or something else, and probably for the most part they are modified in some form or fashion but very few we can say wow look at that that stands out for the most part i would say that's probably not true you know most of the time i think yeah it's a modified version of ubuntu or whatever it looks okay and that's it and we tend to forget about it after we play with it but this is going to stay with me for a while at least in my head it looks terrific it's different at least in the way it looks. As you see here, it's it's colorful. I love the use of default colors, fonts. You know, some of you have said, why do you use Ubuntu Mate? Because it's plain Jane looking. It's, it's just, it's not colorful. Well, that can be changed. That's the beauty of Linux. But I use, the, I use Ubuntu Mate because it just works. I'm more interested in uh, stability and functionality versus special looks like this. Now, there's nothing wrong with something that looks really snazzy like this, and it looks by, this looks by far, like I said, awesome. But, you know, with me and Ubuntu Mate, I'm not that concerned about the looks. It works. I get my work done. I can do the videos and move on to the next projects without worrying about something not working right. So, as you see here, if you've played with Plasma before, you can modify this to your heart's, heart's content. Here I just uh, drag the widget, the clock, onto the screen, and, and there are many more widgets, widgets to modify this. But playing with this for about uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes off a USB stick, it's, <laughs> it, it, looked, it looks great. Now keep in mind, if you're a beginner to all this, this is Arch-based. It is a rolling distribution. I personally have not had good luck with rolling systems based off of Arch, and maybe times have changed. One word of caution, with me running Arch-based systems in the past, once I turned on the AUR, the Arch User Repository, or in my case, it was the Arch Useless Repository, because in my case, and in strictly my case, once I turned that sucker on, my system went bonkers, and that was the end of Arch-based system for me, and at the time, I was, I was testing Manjaro as a full install. So if you're looking for something different, uh, and maybe you are a little bit more advanced, you can certainly try an Arch-based system like this. Again, there are different desktop environments if you don't like Plasma. But take a look at this. Uh, this is by far the prettiest Linux I think I have ever seen.